Well, brothers, there's no big spiel or intro in here, but uh, it's been a privilege to catch up with you fellas and come out on Poppy Day with Willie Apiata VC, with Kyle here, with Aaron and Big Mac. <laughs> man, my, my first time meeting you three good men. I've spoken with Aaron uh, over the phone uh, once, which was really nice. And obviously, was fortunate enough to spend a bit of time with Willie when he was still in Pukekoe. But yep. now he's here and we're here in Whakatane. And uh, guys, just wanted to get your thoughts on Anzac Day. Today in particular, maybe if we could start there and just share what that was like in terms of the uh, handing out the poppies and being out in amongst the people of Whakatane and the generosity that we experienced and the aroha that we felt um, of today because I certainly felt it. And uh, maybe if we can start with yourself, Willie, and yep. some of those experiences and then we bounce around and then we'll guys just jump in at any time if that's all right. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. Kapai, bro. Well, no, no, I just woke up the other morning because, hey, it's getting close to Anzac Day. And, um, you know, even when I was in Pukekoe, I used to go down to Puki and me and my, my two sons and mm -hmm. go and do Poppy Day and hand out the poppies and meet all the co uh, community and say hello and take lots of pictures with everybody and sort of really celebrate what Anzac Day is all about. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I just rang up the old bros and said, hey, you guys want to come out and do Poppy Day with us? Just go to Whakatane and I've organised with the RSA to give us a couple of buckets and stuff and be cool if we could go out and do Poppy Day. And my oldest boy was coming with us as well. Mm. And how much bro, notice did you give the boys? No, there's always no notice to me. <laughs> <laughs> no notice to me. <laughs> it sort of happens like that. Even on yeah. the last trip we went on, eh? Yeah, Seven yeah. days, no notice to me. No notice. <laughs> no the night timings. before. Eh? <laughs> but eh, it's the sort of like the it's opportunity comes up, eh? Mm. And, um, you know, uh, for me, I've just moved home. Been away for a long time. You know, uh, posted to the regiment for over 10 years. And then living in uh, Auckland while my oldest boy was still in boarding school. Yeah. And now he's not there anymore. It was time to come home. And fortunate enough to find a beautiful place here, just yeah. out of Whakatane. It's a little sanctuary, a home yeah, yeah. for me and my boys to sort of plan our roots now. And it also gives me my connection back to the East Coast and to my family. You know, to my three sisters that I've been sort of disconnected from for a little while, because mm. uh, I've been so far away. Now I can reconnect with my family as well, which is so so great to be home. And the boys, oh man, they they're always awesome, eh? They do there every time. Mm. And uh, we all met at Marata. Hey, you came and followed us yeah. along there, Joe. Yep. <laughs> on our on our Harleys, <laughs> trying to keep up at yeah. the back. Yeah. You know. Thank you for not leaving me behind on the way. Yeah. Well, there they. It was cool to ride, you know, and to ride. I wear my uniform today, eh? yeah. you know, and to cruise in the town with the bros, you know, I've ridden on my horse now with my medals, now I've ridden on my bike with my medals to, to do something cool in the name of veterans and their whanau, mm -hmm. and to do it the bros today and, mm. and to mingle with all that community, eh? it was awesome. And today was just about connecting with people, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, saying them thank you for your support to yeah. us veterans and for our service that we've given to our country. Mm -hmm. And it's just to raise the awareness, you know, and to wear my uniform, be proud, and let them know we are proud people. Uh, you know, we're very proud of our service and what we've given to our country. And to me, walking out giving poppy today was to say, I'm a proud person, I'm proud of my service, and I just want to tell you a little bit about it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and today was that was all about it. Beautiful. Meeting with the kids. Yeah. Telling them to dream, to make wishes, you know, and talking to them as well, interacting. And to me, I was getting to know the community because I'm home. I'm in their whenua here, and I just want to say how I'm here, and kia ora, and I'm back now. And uh, to do it with my friends, mm. and all our family, and uh, mm. our mums, and finish up with a beautiful quiet home. Hey, what more could you ask in preparation for Anzac Day? and remembering those that have given the ultimate sacrifice for us, mm. you know, for our tomorrows, and for those that are serving now, you know, because we've done a lot of work uh, coming up to these days. And uh, very shortly, some work that we've been working on with Veteran Affairs, um, with veterans themselves, um, is the new framework to support not only the veteran, but their families. Because mm. like I said the message today, I joined at 17, but I lived with a family. I had children, I had a partner, I had a wife, all of those things. So they are veterans as well, because they served with me. Because you know? I may have been the one out there on suit in operations or 
here at home, but they actually did their service as a veteran as well, just following the person they loved. Mm. You know, so that's to me that what what that today was about. Remembering family that have served with us, that have come along the journey as well, right? and it has not been easy. Right? Mm. And um, we just want to raise that awareness to people. You know, that, that that's who we are. It's not just one person. It's more than that. And we give out all for our country as volunteers. Mm. Whether we go away or not, we will serve our people here at home and we will see them, serve them across the seas. And we do them proud every time we go away. So that's to me was Anzac Day was all about. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Fano and friendship, eh? Yeah. Brothers in arms that I've served with and their families as well. And having our mummeries, <laughs> eh? Because they had to give us permission to go. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, can I please join the army? <laughs> Just so you know, we've got mums and uh, one of the spouses behind the camera who won't come and join us in the camera. But they're here and it's lovely to have them here. Yeah. Thank you. Nah, that, bro. I can't find no, and I just want to say thank you to my bros. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always there for each other, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to me, it's like one of my whakataupis that I've sort of created along a journey that I've worked with the veterans and all the mahi we've been doing for veterans and their families is we are all in this together, whānau, mm -hmm. and leave no one behind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kia ora. Kia ora, whana. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Willie. It's oh, great boy. and lovely to hear. And maybe. Um, Kyle, would you mind just talking about, you can talk about today yeah. or whatever you might like to talk about in relation to Anzac Day from your perspective? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, today is uh, normal for us uh, when Willie gives us the call. Uh, <laughs> do you want to come and uh, walk around Whakatone and uh, sell some public? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, you got your SDs? <laughs> Willie. Hang on, did he, ask, did he ask you like he asked me, can you still fit yours? <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. I said, well, I said, I joined the army when I was 70, and uh, I was 71 kgs of 101 pounds, so no, I don't fit my SDs. So uh, he said, come over on the bike. This is the sound of Willie up here to the motorbike, getting ready to ride into town, where we'll pick up the... Uh, And, and and we did today and 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 you know talking talking with the the locals and um and and they know Willie's moved back home here and yeah. um and doing great things and uh and catching up with old guys you know that I hadn't seen for 30 years mm. they come up to us and um I go, I recognize your face and then we said <laughs> 1985, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he's one of the bosses of Fulton Hogan, yeah. and he's been in Tauranga for the last 12 years, and that's where I'm living. So, yeah, catching up with mates, and you make friends, and you know, we hadn't seen each other for 30 years, but once we started catching up, um, talking about other guys that we served with, yeah. and, and they still all keep in touch on Facebook and whatever, and it, and it's awesome, and you do form a brotherhood, and. Um, mm even whether you do, you know, five or 10 or yeah. 20 years, you still get out into uh, the civvy world, but you'll still bond with the guys that you uh, started your career with off in the yeah. army. And, yeah. and you'll never lose that brotherhood. And you can only understand people that have served, um, you know, in, in, in the services and then they get out, but you sort of get attracted back to them when you do meet them later down the track. And yeah. it's a, it's an awesome brotherhood that you, you know, it's hard to explain unless you've actually That's been it. in there and experienced yeah. it. Um, so, and, you know, that Anzac Day, uh, remembering all our mates that have passed away and, um, you know, sacrificed their life for, for this country so, mm -hmm. so his kids and, and grandkids can carry on living in this safe country and you don't realise how safe and how nice New Zealand is until you. Mm -hmm. Move, move away and experience other cultures and other parts of the world and then come back home and mm. this is why, yeah, this yeah. is why everyone comes home and they go and see the world but um, it's all, all, always nice that they know they've got a nice place to come home to and that message sure. you pass around the east 
East Coast when yeah. we did this horse trip. Yeah. Uh, talking to them and just telling them, go out and experience the world because you know you've got this to come back to if yeah. you have to, you know, and, and getting that message out to our young ones to get out there. Don't just follow the family tradition of, you know, being a logger or mm, working at yeah. the meatworks. You know, try something else and, yeah, inspire yourself to, to, to get ahead in life and, and um, experience life. Mm. Awesome. Thank you very so much. That was Carl. awesome. Yeah. Appreciate and meeting it. you and, and knowing the connections we've got. Mm. Uh, we didn't serve in the same time, but yeah. we still know people. Yeah, yeah, it's a connection. Everyone can make a connection with everyone. So. Beautiful. Thanks, awesome. Carl. Yeah. Nice words, ma'am. I appreciate that. I love the way you explained the parts about the connection and getting out there and trying yeah. to make, you know, do whatever it is that you feel is going to help. Not only yourself, but your family and your people and your country and those yeah. sorts of things are the messages yeah. that I'm picking up through the words that you're sharing. And mm. thank you for that. It's awesome. What about you, bro? This fella over here. <laughs> yeah, no. Was, How was it today for you? Oh, it was. It was great to finally meet you there, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Um, had, had some good yarns mm -hmm. throughout the day. Um, it was special today. Was you know something real different for me. Being out in the in the public mm. and then with you with my medals on and then with, it was good to see it with my mum and my sister yeah. and the brothers selling um, poppies there and uh, just the, the, the locals coming up and and the support that they were giving throughout the day was unreal mm. they were really uh, very generous people yeah, I've yeah. Found here. very yeah yeah and it was um, it was taken quite well I, I it was great to see those um, those guys at the RSA. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. When they gave you an applause when yeah. you, when yeah, you walked out. applause yeah. when you walked out. Was <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, um, but that yes, footage yeah. will go on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got that footage. I've got that footage. Yeah, yeah but see, yeah, when we went back and we saw the old, uh, Sam and um, mm. Eddie there, that was, that was, that was yeah. yeah. And just seeing how you reacted with Sam was yeah, yeah. Mm. beautiful watch. We love him, eh? Yeah, he's got a lot of. He's an amazing man. Yeah, absolutely. We've all spent a lot of time with him. He's like yeah. a father to us all. Mm. Yeah. Hey, beautiful yeah. person, I'll see him. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, it was cool. It's been a great day catching up. Beautiful. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sid. What about you, Stink Fella? This fella didn't want to jump on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting in there. I said, You come here? He goes, No, nah, I'm all right. I said, You're a Stink Fella. <laughs> and then he came back out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know, the whanau e hui hui mai tēnei pō. Uh, te rā, te rā, he tautoko i nga, nga whanau, nga hoia, uh, ko a hina, nga wā o mua. So, um, yeah, o mai o mai a tana brother, ka wā o mai. Boo. Yeah, this is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we are meeting at... Uh, at uh, quarter to ten. Yeah. You coming? Okay, see you there. <laughs> I didn't even have enough time to answer. But... <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, uh, tuatahi. Chief, uh, tēnei te mihi atu ki a koe, bro. Uh, no mai hoki mai, no mai hara mai tēnei whenua. Te, e noho te maramanu o tō tā, tātou mauna a pūtau aki. Uh, tai no nā rere, nā, mo, uh, nā awa o... Nani Taiki, ta, Tarawera, uh, Onepu, uh, koe rā tō awa, koe rā tō mauna. Uh, nā, nā whānau e nohi ki reira, uh, ki kawerau tūwhare toa. Uh, nā tī awa ki konei, mai uh, whakatoa hea, te whānau apu nui tū hoe, nā tī manawa, nā tī hakapatu heu heu, koe nei nā tō iwi. Uh, it's a choice to have you home, bro. It's a choice to have you home. It's a choice to have you doing this stuff um, uh, for our people in the Eastern Bay. Mm. Um, suffice to say that uh, our, our, our people have given a lot over the years in lots of conflicts. Um, we, have, uh, we have sacrificed ourselves, our people, our sons, our daughters, to our conflicts all over the world, all up and down our history. <coughs> um, we, your your corridor today, Huiranga corridor, Nui was 
when the total got done a fano no mm. oi so it's always about supporting our fano our families mm. and um it was funny because we focused on i think it was 2021 2020 the focus was on our wives and our wahine yeah yeah and i remember our rsa uh celebration or our rsa commemoration over in the Rātoki was we spoke specifically about our wives our whānau who supported us mm. and <clears throat> the reason why we do these things is that uh, not only do we do it in, 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 in memory of our, of our of our fallen of our serving of our served we also do it in memory of our uh, our mm. whānau mm. And, um, it, it allows us to get out there and today was yeah, real strange because I've never done this type of stuff before. Mm -hmm. Do poppy days, and, um, like like the bro Aaron here. We're I'm pre we're pretty low key. Mm -hmm. We like to just keep things on the low low. But uh, oh bloody, Mister, I feel like I'm blasting into <laughs> town, <laughs> blasting in, and all of a sudden, yeah, <laughs> I stand too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Right, what are we up to? Okay. Yeah, sweet ass. Yeah. But um, it was cool. Um, mm -hmm. I've already posted a few. Sorry, boys, Come but on. I've already posted a couple of photos out on, on my page, out to our whanau, mm, telling awesome. us what we did today, and the feedback coming back is also awesome. right? oh, from our families, Beautiful. from our old soldiers as yeah. well. But the feedback coming back is awesome. Mm. I mean, um, you are right. Uh, we've got a very generous community out here. Yes, mm. yeah. um, the the amount of people that were coming up to the table today and just mm -hmm. um, donating. Uh, not taking much away, but donating a lot. Mm -hmm. I just I was, given the times that we're in, mm -hmm. I thought it was very generous. Yeah. Of the, mm -hmm. <coughs> given 100%. the yeah, given the times that we're going through right now, this part of the world is um, is a struggle for a lot of people. Eighty percent of the world, of the people here, life is a bit of a struggle, mm -hmm. and um, so for them to do that showed us a lot today. So mm -hmm. of what the community is all about. Yeah. Of course, having a superstar. Hanging around doesn't doesn't hurt, eh? Yeah, it doesn't hurt, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I was looking you, at you, Jake. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> doing it. Thank you, Jake. Navatam. Hysterious. Yeah. Good thing about this, you know, I've, for me personally, uh, my nanny, Tudia, rang me up yesterday or the day before. She said, Oh, we've got to do a poppy day. I said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll do that. I thought that was her thing. But, um, for our for our little RSA out at Ruatoki, there's only three surviving spouses wow. of uh, 28 battalion members. My nanny Tudi is one of them. The other one is Fiddy Muckle Black's mum, Aniwa uh, Anitua. She lives out of here in Kawera. Oh. And there's another lady. So they're the three surviving uh, spouses of uh, yeah. 28 battalion. I'm going to hope that they make it today. Mm. And our quarter will, our, my quarter will be based around what I. Just heard from the bro over there, mm -hmm. and now focusing up at them and their families. Yeah. So, yeah, quite. Uh, it was quite. Um, it was quite good to do this. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's not not something we're used to, even the three of us. Mm. This three here. Mm. Oh, maybe not Padre. <laughs> Tamaki. <over here. laughs> maybe Brian Tamaki might be. <laughs> But um, yeah, we're yeah, pretty low key, especially this fella. And I normally follow what this fella does. Mm. Yeah, if he wants to do something, we do it. Mm. Mm. Do, well. you, do you think that after today and the experiences that you've had and experiencing the, not only the generosity of the people, which for those of you that are from around here and from here regularly probably already know that, but do you think it's something that you might look to do now going forward each year? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, it, it it helped a lot to have this fellow here. Mm. You know, to yeah. see him around. A lot of people, you'd see it on their face. Yeah, is that? Then they yeah. walk past, and then they talk, and then they go, "It is <laughs> yeah. on their <laughs> phone, <laughs> trying, to get a, trying to get a selfie." <laughs> so, but you know, um, Haley and um, Mum mm. set up set up the table before Willie turned up. Before we all turned up on our bikes, the table and. And it was going hard then, mm -hmm. so it wasn't yeah. just the bikes and the and the soldiers uh, turning yeah. up. It was just, just the just, people, just yep. the people. Mm -hmm. So that was a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, awesome. There. Yeah, I loved the uh, the whole experience. Not only meeting good men, 
but also being out there and trying to keep up with Willie, get some photos and then the video footage, but it was awesome. It really warmed the heart to see so many people receptive to not only you coming up, but it was great to see you go out of your way to interact, go into stores to meet people, to make people feel welcome, to make people feel and have a connection to the Anzac spirit that's there and the legacy that's been left behind so that we can enjoy the, the freedoms and the privileges that we enjoy today. So um, yeah, just want to acknowledge all of you for the wonderful service, not only that you've given in your time and serving, but also the service today yeah. and being out there and connecting with the people and beautiful messages that were shared and advice and guidance and tips that were given to us, particularly some of the younger generation yeah. as well, his face is lit up. Yeah. But also well, I liked how Big Mac kept trying to drop in there that uh, he's single too. Keep <laughs> <laughs> dropping that about uh, about Willie, oh, and, and oh, any chance, any chance, not, not me. No, 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 no <laughs> Haley. Not, he wasn't talking oh, about himself. Sure. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he nearly got you in trouble. Didn't he? <laughs> no, he kept dropping that about Willie. Yeah. And he's any chance he could get, he was whispering that, particularly while there were females around. <laughs> he's single too. <laughs> he's single too. <laughs> but yeah, hug case. It's just really nice to experience that and to, to have yep. that opportunity to be with you guys and to meet you and thank you Willie for the invitation to be able to have this all with you about Anzac Day and and also to see you in action and, and serving continuing to serve and help others and inspiring others as well. I know it inspired yep. me so thank you very much. What else about today? Is there any other thoughts or uh, random stuff that happened today that caught your fellow's eye or attention from today? One thing that stands out for me is there was a, a lady, I forget her name, but her husband actually passed away um, in Afghanistan. And so respect to her her husband and her family and yes. her I know. and her girls wanted to have uh, the opportunity to have a photo with you. And obviously, yeah, but I, they didn't mention that to you. I don't think it was any, I spoke with the mum to the mm. side and then she explained to me that her husband had passed away in Afghanistan. And, um, yeah, it, it meant a lot. You could see that it meant a lot to her and to her daughters yeah. to have that opportunity to share some time with you and to get a photo. So, um, so Luke? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the one. Um, what's his full name? Luke? Tomatea. Yeah. So, yeah, salute and respect to him and to all yes. the many others, obviously. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it was really nice to, to find those connections. And you've met some family too. There was a lady that came up to you with her girls. And uh, she was up here too as well, I think, or yeah. she had a connection? Yeah, no, she had a connection to the, one of their um, grandmothers was from up there. Oh, okay. Oh, no, yeah. grandfathers. Her great-grandfather was Ngāti Kaua up here. Ah. Ngāti Kaua was the first up here. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. But yeah, small world. You also caught up with one of your uh, mates that you did basic with. Oh, Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, mate, they, they, they've had me under their wing since I was 16 years old. From day yeah. one when I walked into the army hall. Mm. And I've seen them today. And uh, Matt Nuku, yeah, my old bros, you know, and they just clutched me up, mate, and I was mm. just in the world of heaven, eh? It mm. was the best place I could ever be. And they looked after me, mate, throughout my whole career, and they still do. Yeah. I always hear from them, yeah. you know, Bravo Company, six over here. <laughs> mean <laughs> folks, bro. They are. And, um, you know, Army Hall's gone now. It's a car park, eh? Mm. Oh, you know, we went down fishing the other day, me and the boys, and, and it's gone. But I can still see the building. I can see, still see all the great times I had in there. I can still see the fucking Ford Gold Flash V8 to the donut in there. The day I went to go and sign up. <laughs> and he jumps out and he goes, there you go, bro. Yo! <laughs> well, you can do another donut when the new Nazi, the new Nazi Awa building Because that's where it's going. Yeah, that's the new Nazi Awa building. Yeah, you can do a donut in that. <laughs> No, I might, um, do, I might do one with you. <laughs> Get the bro Carl because he loves doing his food. Silly you guys. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do stuff like that. No, no, no. I just need to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now the thing I loved about today mm. was um, we were making people smile. Yeah. It was the great interaction. You know, taking the time to have a great conversation with them. You know, and hear their feelings about Anzac Day as well. Yeah. Um, you know, to ask them, you know, what did they, did they know much about what a service person does? And just to give them a little bit of an awareness mm. in the few minutes that we shared. And then take a photo, which, um, you know, they'll cherish. It's mm. a memory now. You know, they've met a, a living Victoria Cross holder. Yeah. You know, and there's only 22 that have ever been awarded to our country. You know, yeah. there's nine of us still alive. Yeah. 
and I still go back and I look at the history of it, the 1,306 odd BCs that have been awarded, you know, and I know to this day that each one of one of them carry their, every single bow that they serve with, mm. not for themselves, and there's me, um, I care for the brothers, and we share it, mm. to me everything I do every day is about sharing, mm. you know, sharing my love for my bros, I just wanted to share the day with you fellas men, and do you see a little bit of what I see through my eyes and how I how I, I connect with the people, you know, they inspire me as well. Mm -hmm. And it's about our young people, teaching them, or not teaching them, but just saying to them today, do you wish, do you make wishes? And they go, yeah, I know mm -hmm. my birthday. Do you know where the tree is at the road of Mars? The wishing tree, <laughs> make wishes. Believe in them, because they will come true. Mm -hmm. And to tell them that it will, hey, and you know, and that's the message I carry. I pass on. I pass it on to all my boys. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mum and them made us wish the tree all the time. It's a wishing tree, kids. Make a wish, make a wish. You know, those are the things we still got to make our kids believe in, because they become real. They do. And you know, to me, Anzac Day is all about remembering the wars. Though, but to me, I remember East Timor on Anzac Day. I remember Bosnia, Iraq. Afghanistan, mm. all our theatres that we've been in as service people in our country. I remember them all on that day. Hey, and it's just our opportunity that day for us to all commemorate that. Remember our brothers and sisters, and also think about the ones that are serving now. Beautiful. Hey, that are still yet to come home. Yeah. Hey, and they're still looking after us, being our guardians for us so we can live. Hey, and keep us in peace. You know, Anzac Day is about whānau, because I may have volunteered, but I volunteered my family with me, whether they liked it or not, and they followed me. So um, i just like to say thank you for Katani for the wonderful mm. day. It was so beautiful to interact and meet you all today. You are so generous, you contributed so much to our veterans, to our servicemen and women of New Zealand, to all of us, and I just want to say thank you met so many beautiful people today and um, I got to share today not only with my friends mm -hmm. that I've served with but with my oldest boy which was one of the proudest things of a dad mm -hmm. and um, so kia ora and um, utia te rito te harakeke kei hea te komako e ko take out the centre of the flax bush then where will the bell bird rest what is most important in life as I say is our people, is our whānau, is our rangatahi. It is all our people, it is all our communities, it is all our people within our nation. Kia ora whānau. Have a wonderful Anzac Day and uh, love to you all from us. Wild horses. Kia ora. Wild horses. Kia ora. Wild horses. Wild horses. How does that go again? Yeah. <laughs> That's just how you do it That's too, bro. I, 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 I blow my lips, but I haven't got a big enough lip. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that, bro? Get us all wet. <laughs> Get us all wet. Oh, I don't want to shower you. Yeah. 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 I'll have a shower when I get home, thanks. Yeah. So finally for me, one one word from, from each of you to sum up your thoughts, your feelings <coughs> or your emotions from today. Whatever that word is for you. What's one word? Is that what Big Mac? Oh, it's it's it's, it's a Maori word, yep, of course. That's fine. Yep. Um, mate mate aone, mate mate aone is what we call blood ties, kinship. So, mm -hmm. um, mate mate aone is a term we use to describe the bonding of kin, the kin ties, the blood ties. So, we nice. are they they kupu. Beautiful. Mate mate aone. Mate mate aone. Thank you. Kia ora. Easy Mike McRoberts. Uh. <laughs> Easy Mike McRoberts. That's four words, bro. Only one word. Easy. 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 Take the first one. Um, I know. What was it? Be special, I suppose. Special? Special. Beautiful. Nice. Be special to just yeah. see Definitely. everyone coming in and, and sharing yeah. today. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Special. Uh, for me, it'll be connecting. Connecting. And that's connecting with the, um, the the people out there mm. and and with our old friends and uh, 
and people we haven't seen for a while. So Beautiful. just keep making those connections. Okay, keep going. Awesome. Do you have a word, another word, Willie, that you want? Love is one, bro. Beautiful. Love for my friends. Love for my whanau. Mm. Love for the community that we've interacted with today in Whakatahani and their whenua. And the love for our people within our country. Beautiful. Thank you, fellas. My word, I better choose one, eh, because I've asked you, fellas, would be to reiterate the words that have been shared so far anyway is Fano, yeah. family. So yeah. I've just really felt that today from mm. listening to you speak in particular, mm. having the opportunity to sort of follow you around, as well as listening to the brothers here speak as well and to have an opportunity to connect with you. Mm. It's certainly been special for me. And uh, your parts about the blood ties, was it? Mate mate mm. It's um, it's beautiful. It resonates with me in terms of how you mm. just described that. And mm. thank you all very much. I've mm. loved my time here with you, fellas. Thank you. Shout out Fakatane for a beautiful day. Putting on the weather. I must have brought the weather with me from Auckland. Um, <laughs> that's why we had a beautiful day today. He just said it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you guys turned on some beautiful weather. Thank you to the mums for supporting and, and helping us be able to do what we did today and actually for being out there as well the mums that were able to come out and the spouses thank you very much they're behind the camera i'm going to spin it around i'm going to get a hiding now <laughs> yeah, yeah. They made us. Yeah. no but it's been awesome so Thank you all very much. Thank you for this opportunity to speak about Anzac Day and to experience this whole time with you. Much love to you all and to your families. And to Whakatane. Go on. Go on, brother. Well, I thought the word was haircut, bro, that you were going to stop. <laughs> well, we can't do that because yeah. I said one word. That's two words. <laughs> haircut. So, true. But yes, he's, tr he's right, though. Yeah. But it anyway. must have been a pain all day because he's been standing on it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny look on his face. <laughs> was, oh, I'm standing on my own here. <laughs> this is the stuff. See, I need to leave the camera rolling. <laughs> this is when all the, the good stuff comes out. What Anzac Day means to me is remembrance. My many members of my family have been a part of the military or in the army um, fighting in many wars. Um, one of my greatest memories is my granddad, seeing my granddad in the marsh line um, for the Anzac Dawn service and seeing um, how amazing and hardworking um, and diligent he was in serving his country. Um, it's very inspiring for my family members to sacrifice themselves for everyone else, for the rest of the country. Um, and I'm grateful for Anzac Day as we celebrate the remembrance of um, many soldiers who have passed um, and many soldiers who continue to fight for our country um, and our people. And I'm really glad and really thankful um, for their service and their diligence. Um, and also one of my um, great uncles, Miku Karaka, um, he served in World War II. And um, sadly died in action, but his dedication, even at the age um, of 16, to um, take part of the army um, is really inspiring. Um, so I think we can all take um, something from Anzac Day and the soldiers and um, the lives they lived and the legacy they left. Happy Anzac Day, lest we forget. Let us know what Anzac Day means for you. So, very interesting, bro. I just biked out to Linton Camp with my son, who's asleep on my lap because we broke the bike. <laughs> and we're waiting for my sister to come pick us up. And so, we biked out here and you know, we're talking about the housing area and how it all works. And you know, there's Linton Camp, there's the unit. This is where we used to live when we were kids. The Nana and Papa were, were youngies out here in the housing area. And so, Anzac Day for, for me and my family is about. Always commemorating those that came before us, but just going back in our minds and our memories to those days, you know, walking past the deep shack, we used to party, thinking about all those exercises and then deployments and then what's happened in our life since then and the different mindsets that people have when they think about Anzac Day. Probably the main thing for today on the 24th is watching all the comments on social media and people now have a 2022 filter for stuff that happened back in the 1940s or totally different time so 
have gone from people coming from communities to to volunteer to stop bad things happening to our country to just the idiocy of war and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, man, for Anzac Day for me, it's just remembering all the brothers and sisters, honouring our, our whaka papa all the way back for what everyone's done for, for whatever reason. And now today is not forgetting them and not forgetting that at that time, the reasons why people are volunteering is different from today. At this time of year, we remember those three aims, right? Trauma, transition, evolution. Trauma you can get through, very simple. Transition, a lot more difficult. But evolution, choosing who you want to be now in 2022 and what that all means, applying meaning to that, totally up to you. So yeah, so yeah. 24th Pro Anzac Day 2022, I'll be with my family, Hamatangi Beach, doing a little service down there. And uh, today is just about going back in time a little bit and, and remembering all the good stuff and uh, sharing that with my son. Uh, and the bike we broke. True. Anzac Day for me is about honouring sacrifice and in the only way I really can is, is trying to remember, um, trying to remember stories that I've heard, you know, I, don't, I know the real world, what the Anzacs went through and what everyone who's ever been to war has been through is, uh, you know, can be told in some great stories, but it's, it's not the same as being there. So for me, it's about trying to, trying my best to put myself in their shoes and imagine what they were thinking. And I always start with the, uh, the, the World War One, where it all started with the Australian New Zealand Army Corps working together. Um, and think about the stories of just going over the top of trenches together and and uh, what what these guys who were farmers and a lot of them were, were untrained before they got sent to the war and then did the minimal training and, and off they go and then they're, just, they're jumping over trenches and fighting with a 50-50 chance at best of surviving. Um, and we're talking in modern wars we've had, you know, people are unfortunately killed but in those wars, you know, 70,000, 80,000 deaths a day at times in some of those um, battles which is outrageous so um, the empathy of what they were going through um, whenever I see the memorial or, or on Anzac Day as I remember I think about the the aggressive you know the, the fight or flight the fight that they must have put into it to just survive and and I can only imagine you know there's honour for the country there's you know your family back home but at that point of uh, no return I I'd like to think, you know, from other people's experiences and my own, that it's about mates fighting with mates. So it's side by side. What's the reason why you're going to fight so hard when you when you go to the top of that trench or you attack that uh, tunnel, whatever you know, whatever war it may be? It's because of the guy next to you. So you know, if I do a, a bad job and give up, then the guy next to me's got a hell of a lot of fighting to do. If I do the best I can, um, even if I get killed, if I do the best I can before I get killed, then. You know, I've done something to help the guy next to me, hopefully. So that's kind of what I imagine they went through in those scenarios. And I'd never put myself, you know, I'd never say I've been in anything like um, these great wars or, uh, you know, Afghanistan or that recently. But man, the, uh, the attitudes that they had um, has really, it's really set up Australia and New Zealand for, for generations to come. And it's the underdog, it's the fight, it's just fighting with your mates, it's looking after your mates and um, just doing the best you can under overwhelming odds. So that's it, that's Anzac Day for me. And I'm looking forward to um, remembering it, thinking about a few stories, thinking about the police that I've worked with that have been killed and things like that. Um, but yeah, tying it all together on the day. Uh, my name's Alan Osmond. I'm a veteran and uh, I've served in different services over the years. I first started when I was 14 in the Merchant Navy. I spent two years just on the end of the war, uh, two years, two or three years in the Merchant Navy. Then I joined the Air, Royal Air Force as a mechanic. And then from there, I joined the Army for a couple of years. Then I um, came out to New Zealand in the Royal New Zealand Air Force and uh, for five years. And also, um, spent time in the uh, in uh, Malaya, I should say. Served in Malaya during the conflict there, which was uh, quite a uh, interesting uh, situation because it was well classed as a police um, problem rather than a conflict, but it was originally was eventually classed as a conflict. And when I returned and uh, discharged. 
on the Air Force. I joined the Territorial Army here in New Zealand and I was there for, for a couple of years from 1960 to, oh, four years, 1960 to 1964. And I also, while I, in the Territorial Army, I joined the Melton City Traffic Department as a traffic officer. And while there, we got, and then um, took over the Ministry of Transport and while there, I gained my certificate as a driving instructor and also as a um, driver testing officer. Then we did all the schools around, teaching the kids to uh, to to drive. Uh, during the conflict in in Malaya, was a conflict against not not real enemy as such. They were the Malayans who fought the Japanese when the Japanese took over Malaya, who came circled, circled down on bikes all the way from the top down to Singapore and um, they learnt how to look after themselves and uh, how to live off the jungle by uh, actually um, building underground cities, cities and what I mean by cities I mean hospitals, schools and uh, that sort of thing and it was very hard to find the entrances to, to these underground places but they were that good on camouflage and hiding the entrances. Conflict was as such they were experts in ca camouflage so you didn't know where they were they could be just a, a couple of feet away from you you would not know by looking no trying to find see them but they would they did have a very acidy smell about them that's the only thing that you found out where they were. But um, it went out good. I had a, a good crew. I um, had the opportunity to uh, do supply drops from a, a Bristol freighter. And, you know, and in general, it was really good. And I uh, returned back home in uh, 1957. Oh, nice. Um, and then what does ANZAC mean to you today? ANZAC to... means to me, well, first of all, it remains a memory of my dad who served in the World War I and was gassed with mustard gas in Flanders. And um, it, over the years, it ate away at his lungs, so he ended up with no lungs. So that's how he passed away in 1962. But otherwise than that, it means that recognising my comrades who fought with me, who were um, friends more than just comrades, they were like brothers and uh, we watched out for each other even on leave, we would watch out and make sure we didn't get in too much trouble. No, it was, it's, it's a real uh, memory thing and always like the uh, the ode to the RS, the uh, Anzac, which is, they shall not grow old as if we are left grow old. Age will not weary them, nor the years condemn. And in going down to the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them, lest we forget. <laughs>